Welcome to the channel. I've gotten a few comments on um, people only achieving like around 120 FPS inside of Warzone with the same CPU and GPU that I have. So in today's video, I'm going to go over some settings that I have on my PC and in the in-game settings. That way you, you can get the full potential of your setup. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first is to get into your BIOS. And when you install brand new RAM, uh, it'll probably get set to 2666. But say it's rated for 3600 like mine is, you have to go into your BIOS and change that uh, function. Um, there's a few ways. You can just click on XMP Profile right here. This is a MSI motherboard, by the way. Or you can go into um, OC, which is overclocking. And you would just set your uh, frequency right here. To 3600, what's, what it's rated for. Okay, now for the CPU side of things. If you don't feel comfortable manually overclocking your CPU, that's completely fine. Um, AMD has a pretty nice feature if you have the right um, cooler on your CPU. So you would just go into Advanced CPU Configuration, AMD Overclocking, and Precision Boost Overdrive. Just set that to Auto, and what that does is it allows the motherboard control the CPU and say if it's you know, has the right cooling, it'll boost clogs it to mine. Mine will do like 4.8 in game um, gigahertz, which is is all you need. So once you change those settings, come back to settings, save and exit, save changes and reboot. And of course I didn't make any changes, so. Let's go to NVIDIA's website to make sure our driver is up to date. So you would click on the GPU that you have and the operating system you have. You would click search and this would be the version, the newest version. You would click download and make sure you do a clean install. Okay, next thing to do, go to your NVIDIA control panel. Once you're inside here, use the advanced 3D image settings and then go to manage 3D settings. And let's scroll through here. So low latency mode, make sure that's on. And then your power management mode, preferred maximum performance. And then texture filtering quality on high performance. And then once those are set, you'll have a little apply button here. You hit apply. Also, go into your control panel, hardware and sound, power options, and make sure you're on ultimate performance. That way it utilizes your CPU and GPU at its max potential. Okay, this is MSI Afterburner. It is a overclocking tool for the GPUs. Um, I don't use, I don't overclock while playing Warzone, but what I do do is I come in here at the settings to adjust my fan curve speed. Now you go into fan and make sure this uh, box is checked. And this is your temperature um, below and then fan speed on this axis. Um, 30 is pretty much the lowest the fans will go, but that's like during idle. Now I ramp it up and uh, the card sits around like 50 uh, degrees while playing Warzone, um, and it's around, you know, 60 fan speed curve. That's, uh, you know, you're not going to hear that. Um, it's not going to be super loud, so that's a good sweet spot for it. But if you just pull this up, it won't be, it's like your car doesn't really start to ramp its fan speed up up until about 70 if, like, you, if you keep this stock settings on it. So that's why I like to come in here, drag it down, that way the... GPU runs at lower temp to prolong the life of it. Okay, with that, let's go into our motherboard settings. Now, depending on what motherboard you have, this will be different. Um, but I have a MSI and then you download this uh, Dragon Center. So I go to user scenario and I do a custom um, settings. And then here's your system fans. You can uh, adjust the RPM on them. Now, as you can see, I ramped mine up kind of dramatically that way you know everything stays cool inside your case 
Um, so you can see it's idling. Was it 50% at 55 degrees? Lower temperatures. You're prolonging the life of your whole system because this, you know, gaming on a PC is not cheap. You just want to make things last as long as possible. Okay, so here's a quick overview of my settings. This is 1440p, pretty much max settings. Is that you? You want to disable this on de on demand texture streaming? Disable it doesn't work that good. Um, then they've had problems. There's like this a lot of consoles. This is basically your problem that you cannot turn this off, and that's why you get a lot of you know glitching inside the game. It's unfortunate. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is a capture of the screen itself. The um, OBS screen record was taken away from the FPS and I want you to get the full potential or I wanted you to see the full potential of this whole configuration and setup. Um, so I'll just put some music on. There's a couple uh, spots that I go to like around peak and then um, around the capital and then some odds and ends that way you'll see the dips um, around like you know not fully optimized place around certain locations you'll see um, a 50 or more fps drop caldera is not the best optimized game and i think that's pretty obvious um, each time they you know do an update they're adding to the file size it kind of gets a little worse each time Hopefully with Warzone 2, it would be a completely new client, new engine, new start screen. That way it's a fresh start and they have, and they optimize it uh, from the get-go. If you like the video and then if it's helped you at all, uh, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out and hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. All right, so this is inside of my PC case. Um, I have an NZXT all-in-one 360 millimeter rad, and the one tw there's three 120 millimeter fans on front that are pulling towards the system. I have two 140 that are exhaust on top, and then the 120 out the back has exhaust as well. So this MSI 3080 Gaming Trio Z has a beefy cooler on it and that's pretty much the culprit how I get low temps in game.